Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to correctly set white balance in Lightroom. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I always do that dee 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 dee, I'm not quite sure why. So setting white balance correctly will allow you to edit all of your photographs to get the effect that you really want to get but you must set it correctly first. So the best way to do it is to set it in your camera before you take the photograph. But if you don't, Lightroom allows you to change your white balance so that as you move forward with your edits, you know that you're getting the correct colors that you want. So to understand it, you really have to understand what white balance is. Basically, color or light has a temperature, a color temperature. So for example, if you take a photograph in the shade, then that's actually got a very cold color, so that's say blue. So you will affect that by making the color slightly warmer so that it gives you the right colors. If you take a photograph under tungsten, okay, so under a regular light bulb, basically that's like yellow or orange. And so what you'll do is by selecting a white balance to convert that back, it's gonna add some blue to it and it's gonna make all of your colors look great. Essentially what you do is you use something called 18 or 16, I think it's 18% gray. Now what that means is within that range of just pure of just gray, when you shine a light on it, you can see if the color is orange or if it's blue or anything like that and affect the color. And what you basically do is in Lightroom, you can use this to help you. There's four ways of set setting your um, white balance in Lightroom. So let's jump in and let me show you exactly the different ways of doing it. So here we are, we're gonna use this image today because we've got lots of different colors, okay, and we can create different effects. So first of all, your white balance is over here. It's the very first thing at the top of the basic panel. So to set it, the different ways of doing it, it's currently as, as shot. So if I had set it in camera, then this is what I would have got. So if I actually look here, I have a drop down. Now the first thing you can do is use auto. Hit auto. There you go, and Lightroom has analyzed the image, found some grays, found some whites, found some colors, and figured out what it thinks is closest. Now, I usually find that Lightroom makes things a little bit too cold, so it adds too much blue to an image, which is on this slider here. So, just be cautious of that. And then we have the other presets down here. So, for example, as I said before, shade, okay, it's gonna add a load of orange to the image to warm it up because it was too cold, okay, but it wasn't sh shot in the shade. Whereas if it was shot using tungsten, it's gonna add a load of blue, like so. So you can see it's changing the entire color and essentially it's just moving these two sliders here, but it's doing it for you. So let's come back to as shot. So that's the first way, you can just select it from the side. The second way is to use the dropper tool just here. Okay, so the dropper, the eyedropper tool, which is fantastic, is wherever you click, it's going to use that as your 18% gray. So if we were to click on the floor here, obviously uh, it's going to give us a very blue feel because we're saying that the gray was actually orange, which it's not. So again, let's reset that and let's look at the image. So we have a few little tips here. You can often use the whites of the eyes, you know, because that's going to allow you to. So let's just use that and see what happens. Okay, I think that's pretty clean. It's done a really good job. Another option is you can use the teeth. It's a really good one. There you go. So that's actually a little bluer now. Or you can see she's wearing a white top. Now you don't want pure white. So using a shadow on the side would actually be fantastic. So if we use this, and now it's actually warmed up the image and I think it looks fantastic like this. The other way is I think down here in this area, I think that's the most gray that I can find. So in this image, I would actually select this and it's actually warmed it up ever so slightly. And that's a correctly exposed, um, a correctly, an image with the correct white balance. Now, the, another way of doing it is to actually use these sliders. Now, I would say this is more for an advanced user that really knows what they are doing. So you can see this image, for example, I hit auto and I think it's gone too cold. So all I need to do is take this slider and move it back towards the yellow side of things and now I've made it look a lot better. Now you can also use this for effect. So if you wanted just to warm up the image, you can just 
warm up the image or if you wanted to cool down the image or if you wanted to add some pinks or you wanted to add some greens, okay? But what I would suggest doing is really getting it correct here and if you want to add any of those effects, I would do it using the color sliders just here. You can do the same thing by adding yellow, for example, you could use it by doing this, but you're coming from the correct context of having the correct image. Okay, so let's just turn these back off. So that's your four ways of doing it. Basically, you can hit auto, you can select one of the things here, you can use the eyedropper tool, or you can use the sliders for your own effect. So that's how to select the correct white balance in Lightroom. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the video. And if you have any questions, pop it in the comments box below. This is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. This is pointing again.